in the front of this giant truck. It looks bigger than it actually is. Oh yeah, you got tons of room. Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. I posted this photo wearing this hat like a week back or so on Instagram when I was shoveling my driveway and people loved it. So I figured I would just wear it in a video. Might as well. It's $12 on Amazon. I'll link it below if you want it. Anyway, this is part two to Weekenderlander, episode 14, one of the most complex video titles that I've ever made, but it was a trip where I went down to Telluride and Ure with Ashley uh, and my buddy Philip, my Toyo yes, on Instagram yes. and my buddy AJ, Cheers, photo Cheers. runner on Instagram. And we yes. hit a bunch of trails in Telluride, Ure area. But I'm not gonna delay the adventure too much more. I'm gonna talk more, kind of give a summary of the trip, some things I learned maybe and stuff like that at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that if you're into it. This video was sponsored by Bespoke Post, so huge shout out to them. Thanks for helping make the magic happen here on the channel. They're a subscription box service where you can get a lot of cool things. I've shown like some, some knives and some like little trowel type knife tools for an upcoming video you don't wanna miss. And they also have some cool EDC items. I just got it, I just brought the box up in here. It comes in a nice little box here. This one was the Stealth Box. Uh, comes with some cool stuff, knife, pen, little EDC case. I got some other stuff in here. A little like bird collar. I don't know how to use it. I'm gonna figure it out though and call some birds. Anyway, they are a subscription box where you can get a lot of cool things. Knives, axes, things that smell good, things you carry in your pocket all things that I love here on Last Line of Defense. So check them out. They give me a code LAST20 and that'll save you 20% off on your first box. I'll link to it down in the video description below. But without further ado, let's just get in to this adventure. Puffkeepsie or Puffkeepsie is closed. So we're gonna go over to California now, I think.
same thing at this spot. Natural, I thought. It I was know. quite, yeah, like as is, natural as it comes. Was, was this after the big spoon last time? It's Fioto Rune. Mm. I like how you Is say that how it's pronounced? On the money. You Cheers, say. mate. Cheers, mate. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we are here. This is the last night we have. This is the last night we have in Telluride. Take it easy. <laughs> I just lit my oh my gosh. Hair on fire. <laughs> you lit your hair on fire? Ashley just lit her hair on fire. That's pretty awesome. Safety <laughs> tip. Fireworks tonight. <laughs> Don't get your hair <laughs> down in here. Ashley's cooking up some ground turkey. We're gonna make some tacos, I think. Here's we AJ over here. Here's Philip over here. We have a nice little spot that my friend, I don't know if he'd get in trouble for giving us the spot. Who go by Jay? Hey Jay, gave it to Philip. So this is credit to Jay. It's just the first initial of his first name. We're making some dinner. We're hanging out. We shot a little video with AJ. We're trying to convince AJ to film a video that he needs to film. But he's being a big old ding dong. Uh, here's the spot. It's pretty good. This is. AJ's truck and I'm over here, but it's a pretty cool spot nom, nom. This seasoning is very good So here's the setup I just Set the fridge on my dog bed platform. It was the morning of the last day. We're all getting packed up to go. All sleep deprived, pretty tired. Uh, we gotta finish out the trail that we're on to get back to the road home. We'll probably just get some breakfast in Ure because it's super windy and cold. There's like a break in the wind right now. But had to set some wind records last night because I thought my truck was gonna blow over, but we lived. Anyway, we're gonna continue on the trail. Whew. It's just been some wild weather uh, for some of the trip. Some of the trip was nice, so I haven't filmed much at camp, but it was a good night. So those high winds brought this tree down here. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, driver. You go hard, driver.
pretty sketch. I'm gonna hug that and then score it. Record AJ and me going through. Phillips the narrowest, but AJ's tire basically went right along that and compressed it. My tire is probably a couple inches over, and then Philip was fine. I thought I was recording AJ, but I was mostly spotting and forgot to hit the record button. Woo! It's a little sketch. Been real. You out? Oh, what are we doing? That works too. That works too. That's good. Bye. <laughs> mm, oh, that, that was, was horrible. Happy. That was horrible, dude. Secret handshake. Fist bump to high five. Well, I think he got it off of ours, though. You know, it's like I like it. I don't know if we we're like. Yeah, you want to do it to you? Wait, oh yeah. Not, she's not going anywhere. She's going with you. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So it's okay. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. We're weird. Yeah, we are. It's weird, been real. Weird few days. This guy did good. Yeah, no one, no one. Full size no truck. Correction. You know where it is? Yeah. guys that's it thanks for sticking around to the end if you liked this video don't forget hit that thumbs up button leave a comment down below letting me know what you liked or what you hated or what you want to see in future videos if you're new here get subscribed to the channel so weekender lander that's a term i made up weekender lander it's like a weekend overlander kind of anyway like most people i work on monday through friday so i don't have months off to travel the the country or the world i just i just hit local trails on the weekends this one was a little further than normal i live in colorado tell your rides in colorado but it's like six hours from me so it's not super close it's not that far but it's not super close so this was the first time i've been out there aj had been out there before and philip had been out there before but ashley had also never been out there so to make this trip work Ashley wanted to see some stuff. She doesn't really care for off-roading. She goes with me and she likes camping and she likes nature, but she wanted to do some hikes and she wanted to like eat in the towns and stuff. So to kind of fit that into our schedule, we kind of had to map out a loop, a couple loops that we did. So yeah, in our two days, but technically four nights out there, we were able to see a lot, catch food in Telluride, catch food in Ure, have a couple decent camp spots and have a really good time. Most of these videos I talk more, I kind of give some tips and tricks, I talk about some gear, that kind of stuff. I try to throw that kind of stuff in these videos. This one was less about that. One, because the weather was horrible every time we set up camp. And two, because AJ's from California and you know, Philip, I don't hang out with him all the time. So I just enjoyed hanging out with them. So that's why I didn't talk as much in these videos. 
That leads me to this next topic, which I get asked a lot, and it's, can a stock vehicle do what you do? A lot of trips, it can. A lot of trips, I just, I like to camp really more than I like to off-road. So I go places that aren't super hard to get to where, you know, a stock Tacoma or something could usually do the trails I do. Not all of them, but, but a lot of them. A lot of the trails in Telluride URA are not difficult. Like you don't, they don't need a ton of clearance or big tires. And a stock vehicle is actually advantageous because there's a lot of narrow parts. There's a lot of switchbacks. We're having a nice small vehicle to turn around that stuff would actually make it easier. So this trip, some of the trails can be done by stock vehicles and others, I wouldn't recommend it. I think that's about it. I have a lot of exciting stuff coming up though. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen photos of my Land Cruiser, my brown Land Cruiser. Uh, I took that out last weekend or the weekend before on kind of a break-in trip to test out the GFC. And it was crazy hurricane level winds out there. I filmed a little bit. I think I'll put together a weekender lander with the cruiser and I'm gonna do a walk around because people have been hitting me up, asking me, asking me, asking me about the land cruiser and what I've done to it. So I'll save that. I'll save all of that for a future video. I'm still making it through this backlog of videos. I, I don't know how it happened, but I have all these videos filmed that I need to edit and upload. So I'm gonna get to all those. And also winter is pretty much upon us here in Colorado. So if you're into snow and cold, I'm gonna be talking about some snow and cold gear. I'm gonna be doing weekender lander trips out in the snow and the cold for the next six months. So if you're into that, check those out. I'm gonna do a stove video. There's some Black Friday sales coming up. I'm maybe we'll do some videos on. I'm gonna try and do my Christmas gift idea video. I got a lot, I'm just, I'm busy. I got so much to do. So I'm gonna try and get through it. But all that, all that to say, a ton of videos coming up. I'm going to SEMA tomorrow. In January, I'm going to SHOT Show. My truck's actually gonna be at SHOT Show. So if you're at SHOT Show, swing by the Pelican booth and you can see my truck in person. I think that's it. I think that's it for news and announcements time. Anyway, thank you for watching. Again, thumbs up, comment down below, get subscribed, hit that bell, become part of the notification squad. Thank you so much for your support. I do always put links down below uh, my videos. So if you like to help support the channel at no extra cost to you, and I actually have a ton of coupons. So I work with a bunch of companies and every time I work with a company, I say, hey, It'll sweeten the deal for me if you can give my followers coupons, discounts. So I have a link, I have a website, llod.us. You can go to llod.us slash links and that'll take you to a build of my truck and my coupon page and all kinds of other good stuff. Shopping with those links does always help support the channel. So if you wanna buy something that I link in a video, using that link helps. If you wanna buy anything from any site, using the link does help support the channel. So I always really, really, truly appreciate you using those links when you can. Thank you so much. I'm in a good mood. I hope you're in a good mood. I hope you have a great day, night, week, whatever. And until next time, take care. <laughs>